Believe it or not, my little Norton Creek has largemouth bass. I had no idea. It hit on some beetle spin I was using, but that's all the tackle I have for bass. Let's go down the road to Farm and Fleet, see what they have. Maybe I can get hooked up. So Blaine's Farm and Fleet is where I originally bought the beetle spin. So let's give them the first shot at outfitting my bass tackle. I'm not sure what I want, and I'm not sure what they have. So probably something that'll work weedless, maybe some weedless hooks, a uh, Texas rig worm, um, some kind of other jigs. I frankly am new. All I've ever learned about bass fishing has been from realistic fishing. I'll put a link up to his stuff. Um, let's just see what they got. So I think we got lucky. I found a four inch yum dinger, watermelon red flake. Um, the bass that I caught was small. So I'm trying to find a small worm to start with. Uh, it was the only package they had. It was laying on the bottom, not even on a, uh, a uh, one of the racks. I just happened to turn it over because I noticed the logo. It was the only one they had. This one was, $2.50. I bought uh, some 1 16th worm weights, some slip worm weights. And I bought two different kinds of hooks. So they didn't really have much of a selection. So I found a single package of Gamagatsu um, one uh, offset shank worms. Um, the packaging for the Yum Dinger actually says to use three out, four out, and five out offset hooks. They didn't have any of those, so I went with one out. Again, small bass, hopefully it'll work. And then uh, I saw these sitting over uh, away from the hooks, but they're called Wacko Jigs. It looks like they're weedless. They've got a wire. Um, I have no idea how to use that, but it's a 116 ounce. Thought I'd give those a try. So uh, I think we did okay. It'll at least get me started. Um, let's head back and tackle up and Go out there and go fishing. So here we are at Norton Creek again, right before sunset, about an hour, hour and a half before sunset. Uh, and we've got rigged up. So uh, I've got the uh, Yum Dinger, the four inch Yum Dinger, a uh, EWG one aught hook and a weight. I have never fished like this before. Uh, we're gonna walk up to the creek here and uh, see what happens. I'm honestly expecting catching absolutely nothing but we're gonna give it a try. Oh. Well, the weedless part is working great. Okay, well, I've been up and down this creek for the last hour, and uh, I don't know, something like 30, 40 casts, and other than right in here where I had a couple light hits or strikes or whatever they're called, uh, not getting anything. All right, so I don't wanna go home skunk, so let's switch up to panfish. Got about 20 minutes for sunset. All right, so sun's going down, and we're set up on a uh, gulp minnow under float. And that's all it took. Oh! <laughs> First cast. Dang it. There we go. Second cast.
nice little bluegill. There we go. Nice little bluegill. Let's get it out there, see if we can get a couple more before the sun goes down. Yep, there we go, number two. He's not real happy about being caught. Whoa, catfish. I have never caught one of those here. Holy cow. All right. Let's get the pliers for this guy. Here we go. Nice little catfish. Hey guy, didn't know they were here either. Today turned out to be a good day. And another one. Nope. Oh yeah, just a little. Well, the gulp minnow is just killing it. There we go. What is that, three and five minutes? Two bluegill and a catfish? Well, there may not be bass tonight, but there's certainly the other guys. Come on, let's get one more fish. There we go. Another catfish. What the heck? It's catfish day. Oh wait, I said one more. Oh well, let's go for one more. <laughs> right, one more cast. So today wasn't a bust at all. Uh, we didn't get bass, but that's okay. I know they're in here, but I don't know how many, of course. And I could have been fishing the worm wrong, but it seemed to work okay. So uh, that was fun, but uh, the real cool part was ending the fishing with two catfish that I've never caught before. So a new species for me, and also uh, didn't realize they were in this creek. So today was pretty good. Also beautiful sunset. I don't know that you can see that on the uh, camera, but uh, thank you, Norton Creek. See you next time.